Classy CNN analyst says Trey Gowdy ought to have his A kicked. On the heels of Anderson Pooper Scooper, Cooper's infamous dump on his desk comment, CNN added more evidence of what appears to be its deliberate attempt to lower its own bar for journalistic decorum on Wednesday, this time involving an analyst casually calling for violence against a Republican congressman. He, of course, received no pushback from the show's co-host, Chris Cuomo and Allison Camarota. CNN's latest assault on its own credibility occurred on New Day on Wednesday when the co-host brought on CNN counterterrorism analyst Phil Mudd, a former CIA counterterrorism official, to offer his thoughts on Gowdy's questions to former CIA director John Brennan about the existence of any actual evidence of the alleged collusion between Team Trump and Russia. Here's how Mudd responded. Uh, I won't read that because we're going to play the clip. N note that the producer conveniently near cuts to the co-host reaction to the A kick line. A loud off-camera sound can be heard imme immediately after the statement, which is likely a laugh or else someone hitting a mic or both. Regardless, the co-host offered Mudd no pushback throughout his old whole spiel, but as James Woods puts it, it's not news, it's CNN, so this is no longer surprising. This is the video clip here. You're saying, and of course you're right, but it ends up just being frustrating to people listening because it, it, it devolves into this debate over semantics intel versus evidence and in fact it got a little heated with congressman trey gowdy so let me just play this for you and then you can respond watch this did you have evidence of a connection between the trump campaign russian state actors as i said mr gowdy i don't do evidence i appreciate that you don't do evidence director brennan you and i both know what the word evidence means it's a really simple question did evidence exist of collusion, coordination, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russian state actors at the time you learned of 2016 efforts. I encountered and am aware of information and intelligence that um, revealed contacts and interactions between Russian officials and U.S. persons involved in the uh, Trump campaign. See, Phil, that's what's so frustrating. Did collusion exist? That's the burning question that everybody wants answered. And then Brenton says, well, I know of contacts and communication. Well, Trey Gowdy ought to have his ass kicked. He knows the difference between intelligence and evidence. Let me tell you something, Allison. If you're an American citizen and the National Security Agency collects intelligence, that is, intercepts of Russians who report what you've said, do you think it's fair to go to a court and say that's evidence that you did something wrong? That's why the FBI is going to take a year or more to investigate this, because the American citizens involved in this have a right to have evidence presented in a court beyond a conversation that a Russian official reports. In my world, this distinction is black and white. There's a hard line. I know it's frustrating for the American people, but I hope they don't want evidence to be perceived as something that a Russian official says, and that's it. You can be convicted of well, there you have it. There you have it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.